More often than not, the Grunier approach to things can be compared to a big and blunt hammer. The Twin Gracatas are no exception to that. Hey guys, hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar and today we're gonna be diving deeper into this Mastery Rank 9 secondary weapon. It is deceptively powerful, though it does suffer from a couple of drawbacks. Considering the low mastery lockout on the weapon, I'm gonna be keeping my new player friendly approach and I'm gonna be covering a lot of the basics. So if you're a veteran of the game, have a little patience. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the Twin Gracatas. First off, let's check out how the weapon handles without any sorts of mods equipped. And I'm gonna be taking 25-30 meters from my target and I'm simply going to start spraying. As you can see, the accuracy of the Twin Gracata, considering it's a Grenier weapon, isn't all that bad. And we're gonna empty our clip really, really quickly. So just a couple of bullets outside of my crosshairs. Now there's another thing you should note. No matter how light your finger is on the trigger, it will always consume two bullets at the very minimum per shot. That means that the status chance does get divided, unfortunately, between them. But in any case, let's check out the stats and see what we're dealing with. We got a mod capacity of 60 out of 60. If your Twin Gracatas has only 30 out of 30, then jump into actions and plug in an Orokin Catalyst. This one can be found from alerts, invasions, or if you're lucky, from the daily sortie. If you don't have access to the daily sortie yet, just wait a little, you will progress further through the story. My weapon has been formatted a total of 6 times, but this has been done for the purpose of testing. For the weapon build, I'm recommending to you guys 4, maximum of 5 should be more than sufficient. The accuracy of the Twin Gracatas is 28.6, which again is pretty good considering the high fire rate, considering the recoil is not all that bad and considering it's a Grenier weapon. Critical chance is high at 25% and the multiplier is absolutely awesome at 2.7x. This is the highlight of the Twin Gracata, so it is smart to build it further into crit. Fire rate is 20, huge fire rate and we got a good mag size of 120, just keep in mind again that you are firing 2 bullets per shot. Reload speed is 3 seconds, now unfortunately this is one of the weak points when it comes to the Twin Gracatas. Again, you're gonna empty that clip in a matter of seconds and you're gonna be hitting that reload time often. It does get a little bit on my nerves. Riven Disposition is 2 out of 5, I was surprised, I was expecting a bit higher, but apparently the weapon is quite popular. At 2 out of 5 the Rivens will be pretty decent. Status chance is 11%, but again it does get divided by default. Uh, between the bullets, so it's gonna be 5.66 by default between the two bullets you fire. The damage types are impact, puncture and slash, slash being the lowest. Now, you can put on more slash with maim, if you so desire, and that will make your slash value be the highest among all the uh, standard ones. However, considering the low status chance, considering this is a secondary weapon and you cannot use hunter munitions on, building it into slash will prove a pretty bad idea. I tried it and it simply performs pretty badly, so no slash. Now, let's slap on some mods and see exactly what we can get out of the Twin Gracatas. First thing you should always slap on is Hornet Strike. If you are in doubt about what to sink your endo in or what mod to prioritize first, then Hornet Strike is definitely a safe bet. Speaking of safe bet, bets, my bad. Let's add some more damage. You have the option of Augur Pack which will add 90% extra damage and you also have the benefit of the set, which should only really be an afterthought when it comes to slapping on these mods. Here's a tricky mod, Magnum Force. Now this one fully maxed out will give you 66% extra damage to your pistol, but it'll also take away 33% accuracy. The accuracy is not the issue here, the problem is Magnum Force right now is simply underpowered, it only adds 66% damage, it really does need a bit of an update. In any case, for now, for damage we're simply gonna keep Hornet Strike. As we said earlier, one of the highlights of the Twin Gracatas is that high crit chance of 25% coupled with a 2.7 multiplier, so let's further amplify that with Pistol Gambit. You can get the Prime version for this one, then by all means use your Prime version, just keep in mind that it may require you to format a bit more. We got our crit chance up to 55%, so let's slap on Target Cracker with critical damage, 60%. From my point of view, Target Cracker currently is a bit underpowered, 70% would be a bit more appropriate and once again there is a Prime version. You can go further into crit and by all intents and purposes it wouldn't be a bad idea if you have Hydraulic Crossers on headshot 135% crit chance while aiming for 9 seconds. You may not have this mod, you get it from the trade chat, currently it's not obtainable any other way, this is an event mod but the good news is the price is only about 10 plat, so it's definitely worth having. 
Now we got our crit chance, we got our crit damage. What we should be slapping on some more is multi-shot. We have two options and we're gonna use them both. Barrel diffusion is the first option. Now this one will add 120% multi-shot. If you don't know what multi-shot does, it increases the number of projectiles you fire, depending again on the percentage. Just keep in mind how the status chance works with the twin Krakatas. Lethal Torrent is the second option and it's extremely solid. 60% multi-shot, this is the main reason we're slapping this one on. More multi-shot, probably one of the most important stats in Warframe currently on weapons. The fire rate is nice, definitely, and it will lower our kill time, but it means we're bumping into that reload time more often than we should. And again, you're basically increasing your bottleneck time, your downtime, but still, because of the multi-shot, we're gonna be keeping on Lethal Torrent. What follows next really depends on where you're going and who you're fighting. Enemies in Warframe have certain resistances and vulnerabilities to certain types of damage. For example, if you're going up against Corpus, building Magnetic will deal more damage to their shields. My recommendation against Corpus would be to build Gas as it bypasses their shields entirely and deals damage to their health. If you're going up against the Infested, then building Heat will be more than enough to deal with them, but if you want the best choice, then build Viral, which is the combination of Cold and Toxin. For today's example, we're gonna be looking at the Grenier. The Grenier have a couple of armor types, they have Alloy and Ferrite. Ferrite takes 75% more damage from Corrosive and more often than not, if you're fighting Grenier, then Corrosive will be your best bet. In order to make Corrosive, we're gonna have to combine Electricity together with Toxin. Once again, I highly encourage you to check out the wiki and see exactly what elemental types do more damage to who. When it comes to adding elemental damage to a weapon, you will be faced with the following choice. Either the 90% mods, which will give you more damage, or the 60-60 mods, which offer less damage, but a fair good chunk of status chance. And keep in mind, this is pure status chance, not multi-shot status chance, so it has a greater effect. Now, when it comes to the option for the Twin Krakata, I was fully expecting the 90 mods to perform better, however, that is not the case, so I'm forced to recommend the 60-60 mods. When it comes to the 60-60 mods, Jolt unfortunately is very expensive. On PC currently the prices have dropped because last week Battle Kitier brought it. You can only obtain Jolt from Battle Kitier or the Trade Chat. Currently going for about 40-50 plat on PC. I do recommend you guys picking up one copy of Jolt, you will need it for a lot of weapon builds. Now that we got our electricity, let's make our corrosive with Pistol Pestilence which will offer us 60% toxin and 60% to uh, status chance. Pistol Pestilence opposed to Jolt is a whole lot more easier to farm, you get it from Corrupted Vor in the Void, if not head on over to the Trade Chat, 10-15 plat on a max. Now we got 215 Corrosive. It is worth noting that the Twin Krakatas have the lowest damage per bullet of all secondary weapons. Now finally the last mod slot. This is what I like to call an option slot. There are two major weak points with the Twin Krakatas. One, that 3 second reload time, which really sucks, because again, you have a high fire rate, now with Lethal Torrent we have 32, so you're gonna be bumping into a lot of downtime. However, the biggest issue with the Twin Krakatas is the total ammo capacity. Stay 10-15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes on a max on a defense, and you're gonna simply run out of bullets. There's two ways to fix this, first the way I don't like, pistol ammo mutation, now this will convert ammo pickups into pistol ammo and this is one way you can fix it. I don't like this approach because it basically forces me to use, well, an ammo mod instead of a damage mod, so there's that. Another way you can fix it is through your companion, you can use carrier or carrier prime, it doesn't really matter which of the two you use, both will work beautifully. I only have carrier prime, so for this example we're gonna be using him. Carrier has a very specific mod, ammo case, increases ammunition capacity by 25% and converts ammo pickups into ammo for equipped weapons for 2 seconds, just keep in mind that your twin Krakatas will have to be the ones you're wielding at that current time in order to get the uh, conversion to pistol ammo and this is a better way of fixing it because again it also increases your maximum ammunition capacity by 25%. So that is a fix for the ammo, what are we gonna do about that reload time? You have the following options, stunning speed, again easy to obtain, not expensive, 40% reload speed and 10% status chance and again that is pure status chance. And our reload time has gone down to 2.1. However, if you want the maximum amount of damage and all whatnot, then I recommend you further amplify your damage type. If you build corrosive like I did, then more electricity or more toxin will wash into the elemental damage type you already made. So let's slap on convulsion. And again, you can use pathogen rounds in case you have that one maxed out. 
And this will be our initial build, so let's test it and see how exactly does it perform. We're gonna be spawning in Corrupted Heavy Gunner level 115, and these are no pushovers. Please keep in mind that Corrupted units have more health and armor than regular units. As you can see, the Twin Gracatas can jump through one of these high-level targets with no problem at all. Level 115, level 100 plus is definitely not Mastery Rank 9 level. But I'm assuming you already noticed the issue with the Twin Gracatas, what I pointed out earlier. First of all, I'm forced to reload very often, that means a lot of downtime, and second of all, my ammo is going down like nobody's business. But when it comes to pure force, pure damage, and, well, kill time, the Twin Gracatas are absolutely insane. All we gotta do is fix those issues. And the base build, as you saw, is not really very expensive. The only thing expensive about it would be Jolt. If you guys simply cannot afford Jolt, then simply swap it out for Convulsion, the 90% electricity mod. And I killed all of those targets and I'm already on 800 ammo. I started out with 1,500 and a full clip. Mm, not very ammo efficient at all, but you know now how to fix bo both of those issues. Now that the base build is out of the way, let's switch to my Riven setup. Of course, I managed to get a Riven for this one. I rolled it a couple of times and this is the best one I could get. Crit chance, which is amazing. Damage, awesome. Electricity, which is the most versatile elemental type currently in Warframe. If you're looking for a type of damage to have on a Riven or on a weapon in general, electricity currently is what you want to have because, again, it is the most flexible. Unfortunately for me, the Riven punched me in the gut with minus ammo maximum, which for the Twin Gracatas really hurts, but it's gonna do wonders for our test at least. Other than that, I simply swapped in Prime Target Cracker for the normal version, and the Riven took up the spot of the 90% mod. Oops, I forgot to leave it on the Riven. There we go. Now let's see what kind of a difference do we get with a Riven. Currently, Rivens for the Twin Gracatas are not terribly expensive. Uh, I think they're about 70 plat on rolled. Again, that's not too high considering everything. Uh, I got mine for 50 plat. It was rolled four times and it was absolutely garbage. And I managed to get lucky on the first roll. With a Riven, of course, we can take out two targets now with a single clip, which is a whole lot more effective. But again, the Riven is rolled quite nicely. The electricity rolls in my corrosive, so I'm doing extra damage against these guys. Crit chance damage, you can never really go wrong with that. If you're looking for a negative, try to see if you can get minus zoom. I don't even know if you can get minus zoom on a Trinkata Riven. If not, something like recoil or something like that. Minus man uh, ammo maximum really does hurt this weapon in particular. Now, let's see if we can go even further than that. We're gonna be picking up Lady Mirage Prime because she can buff pretty much everything. When it comes to auras, pistol lamp is what you want to have for the twin gracatas. It will increase your pistol damage by 27%. This is an aura, so it will affect everybody in your party, and it is stackable. So if everybody equips it, you're gonna get it times four. When it comes to arcanes, we have three options. First of all, arcane awakening. This one is an on reload effect. 40% chance for plus 100 damage to pistols for 16 seconds and the usual plus 1 arcane revive. As you saw, we are reloading quite often. If you're gonna go for this one, then I will recommend stunning speed again for minimizing your downtime. Another option would be Arcane Velocity. Now, Arcane Velocity, 60% chance for plus 80% fire rate to pistols for 6 seconds, and this one is on a critical hit. Practically, for the Twin Gracatas, this is guaranteed uptime. Unfortunately, overdoing it with the attack speed and not having your cursor on your target for more than 1 second, 2 seconds maximum, will mean that you're gonna be missing a whole lot of bullets, and the ammo efficiency is quite bad as well, so without... Uh, further increasing your mag clip or something like that or with a Riven with a negative on ammo, I do not recommend Velocity. What Velocity will do is decrease your kill time, so you're gonna be killing your uh, targets a whole lot faster. As for our second Arcane, we have Arcane Precision on headshot, 80% chance for plus 120% damage to pistols for 8 seconds. Now, of course, this one is the best one out of the bunch, and if you want to farm it, Arcane Precision drops from the third Eidolon down on Cetus, and the other two drop from the second Eidolon. Precision is a bit expensive, it gets roughly to about 120 plat R3, and the other ones you can get them for 70, 80, something like that. My recommendation would be to buy R zeros because they come cheaper and just make the R3 on your own. Very well, we have our overpowered setup now, we're gonna activate Mirage's clones for the, well, clones, and her third ability for a huge 514% damage boost. And we're simply gonna wreck through everything. This, in all honesty, is amazing. What stops me is the reload time, and that's pretty much it. The reload time and, of course, my maximum ammo. 
If you take a look, my ammo is going down quite quickly and with the Riven, my maximum ammo capacity is something around 700. But you cannot deny that is absolutely bloody beautiful. The Twin Krakatas can definitely be a competitive weapon, no doubts about it, but it's not the type of weapon I would take into a defense or a survival. It's the type of mission that takes more than 5 to 10 minutes to complete, something like that, because again, you are going to be running into some ammo issues. Ideally, you want to pull out the Twin Krakata when you have a big target and you want it dead now. The kill time, again, is absolutely fantastic, especially if you go with something like Arcane Velocity. In any case, that's gonna do it for this build guide. I'm gonna thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name has been Lazar. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you have any feedback for me or would like to request a specific weapon review, then by all means, leave it in the comment section down below. I can't realistically promise you that next time it will be done, but I will read through each and every comment. But until next time, guys, bye bye.